It's Christmas time, and you know what that means. Santa is fake in the holidays about capitalism. And to stick with the theme of Christmas and capitalism, I found a game that perfectly encapsulates the season. Night of the Consumers. If you've never worked retail, then this game's a pretty close representation of it. It's tedious, and the customers are horrifying, just like the real thing. You start in the back room of the store where the manager, named the manager starts talking bullshit saying things like oh this is the first day it's gonna be light it's gonna be easy we're gonna get you settled in show you the ropes oh good perhaps this eight dollars an hour will be worth it i worked retail for many years and i can very firmly tell you that minimum wage is not enough working retail is well you'll see and my co-worker who i assume is supposed to be training me today comes running into the break room tossing shit knocking over displays and i better not have to clean that up uh, yeah, minimum wage will do that to you. I feel for you, buddy. And once we're out on the sales floor, the first thing I notice is the clock always ticking down in the bottom right corner. This game is time sensitive, and that's the only criticism that I have. Because that's not at all what working retail is like. You're paid hourly, and there's no getting stuff done early and going home here. You're gonna want to stretch out every little task so you don't die of boredom and depression. And the premise of this game is simple enough. Take boxes, stack shelves, and avoid every customer you see because if they see you, they'll hunt you down like rabid zombies. I lost my baby. Find him. Jesus, what the fuck? Ew! I would never, ever grab a fucking gremlin baby, but duty calls, I guess. The customers are everywhere. Gallivanting around the aisles, calling out, Merchant, merchant, like this is some sort of fucking slasher film. They're coming to get you. And if you piss them off too much, aka taking a bit too long or bring them into the wrong aisle, then they will demand to speak to your manager. Suddenly, the lights turn off. You're alone in the store, but you can hear footsteps in the distance. It's an express delivery from your boss, and he looks irradiated? Needless to say, I got fired more than a few times. I figured out eventually that you want to set up the boxes before you start putting them away, but it was still difficult because of the sheer horde of customers. Yeah, definitely a horde. And I keep noticing subliminal messages on the products, such as the juice that simply says, get out. Even the products don't want me to be here. Dog soup. The controls are a bit wonky, which in my humble opinion, really adds to the tension. This game is a little janky, but just enough to make it charming, because it works most of the time. You stock shelves and you can look left or right to watch for customers, but getting away from them requires quick reflexes, which I do not have. The only way to actually get rid of the customers once they've spotted you, is to run into an employee-only area. The music turns off and you have 5 seconds of silence to reflect on the horrors of your day-to-day -day retail job. This part is 100% realistic, and I remember doing this frequently. Eventually, I learned the store layout better than the back of my own hand, which made me a speedy little wage worker. You have to stock 10 shelves in order to go home, and it is a tedious, perilous journey to get there. Once you complete your tasks, your boss says that I'm a fine employee. Shame what happened to the other guy. Uh, see you tomorrow. And that's when the real horror of this place sets in. You have to do this every single day. That shit's too much for me. When I worked retail, it literally made me like mentally crack. I ended up in a psych ward. True story. So with that disturbing little detail about my life, Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a capitalistic holiday. And don't forget to harass the next retail employee you see. Moist Fob, out.